Okay, apparently I am recording already. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. All right, so um, this is going to be an introductory to my um, future podcast, so to speak, or current now. But um, I'm Danny, and basically you're going to be listening to Life with Danny. Um, what that means is so many things, so many things. For starters, who am I? Um, I am a single mother of two daughters. Um, a, I'm a business owner of Kataya Beauty Boutique. And um, I am a career services coordinator for a beauty school that's new. I just started that job two weeks ago. I was a preschool teacher um, before that. So you're basically going to hear topics of all nature, all, all types of things. And my goal is to basically help other women navigate through life, even if that's young women, teenage women, um, single moms like myself, all of the above. I just, my, my ultimate goal is to make sure that all women have a safe place and feel connected in some way or another with someone because it does suck to feel like you're alone, like you don't have anybody to talk to or anybody to listen when all these things are going on in your life. And I just happen to be somebody who's notorious for life happening. It is what it is. And, um, you know, everybody always says, oh, you're so strong and this, that, and the other. And that's great that everybody feels this way about me. However, most of the time I don't feel that way about myself. And that's totally normal. And totally acceptable as well. So, you know, if, if I'm going to, if I'm going to feel that way, then I might as well share it with everybody else. So again, we're navigating together. I'm not an expert in this world. I'm not an expert on any of the topics that I'm going to be discussing. It's just all going to be about my own personal experiences with everything. So first things first, I want to also introduce you to Kataya Beauty Boutique. It is my business that I have. I do have a business license for it um, with different products such as um, pharmacy cosmetics and skincare, etc. Um, I also have uh, a platform where I have t-shirts and drinkware and stuff that say some motivational stuff or things that I can relate to that I feel like others might relate to as well. So um, I, I'm actually creating the graphics on them myself and putting them out there. I'm hopefully going to be able to change it to where I, I carry the stock myself and, and I'm able to put the products out on my own without using a different company. But right now I'm using a different company, Cafe Press. So there's that. Um, I, I'm also working towards selling safety products because, let's be honest, women in this world, and not just women, men too, however, I'm, my, my goal is to attract women into this business of mine and this, this world of mine that can relate to me. But, uh, you know, we're, we come from a world where sex trafficking has become very prominent and um, we're all a little bit more hyper aware and focused on that situation and that, that topic. So, uh, you know, I, I like making sure that everybody's safe. My daughters carry a pepper spray with them all the time that I have purchased and supplied them with. And now I'm doing that. I, I'm creating little bundles and safety bundles for other women and their daughters and such and such to make sure that they're safe when they are out and about alone. And that's not just at night, that's just any time. So there's that. Um, with my business, I do provide some services, some hair services right now, as I am a licensed cosmetologist as well. Um, but with my job, my hours are limited. So if anybody decides to go ahead and like try to 
set up, set up an appointment with me. I will review and make sure if I'm available or not. So that's, that's the Kataya Beauty Boutique side of things. Now, what topics are we going to be talking about? Well, like I said, it's going to be pretty much everything that every woman has ever had to deal with. Um, maybe being a single parent, you know, or being a teenage girl in this society where bullying is so strong in the schools and everything, and why? And we'll get into that pretty deep. And when I get into stuff like that, I'm, I'm going to have a guest appearance, which will be my daughter, Naya, and she will be putting her opinions and her experience in on that conversation. Um, we will also be talking about female safety. We will talk about the, the controversial topics that are out there right now in women and politics and how... Um, how society expects women to behave and again my daughter will be present for those some of those topics as well because as a teenager in this society she is also expected to be and act a certain way and look in a certain way and we're gonna break down those walls okay um, another thing is there may be days where I just discuss personal hygiene or hair care or skin care and stuff like that and those will be a little bit more lighthearted <laughs> because let's be real a lot of controversial topics can really you know really get us emotional and we will there's going to be times where emotions are going to be high um, we're, we're going to talk about mental health for sure because as a mom um, I have two daughters that have mental illness. Um, I myself also have mental illness and I grew up in a family with mental illness. So, you know, we're going to talk about generational trauma. We're going to talk about um, genetic illness. We're going to talk about, um, you know, certain types of assault and whatnot. So this this whole podcast is going to be so controversial that it might not be so faint for the heart, but you know, I'll, I'll give you warnings ahead of time. It'll be the first thing out of my mouth. You know, if you, if, if it's going to be controversial and emotional, I'm going to say, Hey, trigger warning or the, you know, the, the title before you even open it might have a trigger warning to let you know either a you're going to be triggered by this and it's gonna it, it might you know open up some emotions that you're not ready to have opened up right now or hey go get your tissues this is gonna this is gonna be a hard topic this is gonna be a difficult subject so I want to give that warning by by bringing this introduction to you all and letting you know that like I'm nobody I'm nobody important to the world but I mean there are people that find me pretty important to them and vice versa but I know that these topics are topics that are a lot of times taboo to have a conversation about. Not everybody wants to say it. Not everybody wants to hear it. Um, but somebody's got to say it. Somebody has to bring it up. Somebody has to set the record straight. And I, I'm not, again, I'm not by any means an expert. I'm not a professional on a lot of these topics. I'm just giving you my experiences because I don't want you to feel alone but at the same time in these experiences that I'm having I also want to give you all the opportunity to tell me yours tell me your experiences tell me how you handle these things um, same with my daughter she's she's gonna come on here and she's gonna tell you what she's gone through and give you her experiences about stuff and her conversations that she's had with people in regards to so many topics that we're gonna dive into but at the end of the day, she's not an expert. She's, she's telling you her experience. And maybe you could give her some insight on how to handle certain situations like that, that maybe she doesn't want to hear from me because I'm her mom and that's typical. That's, 
you know, every teenager doesn't want to hear what their mom has to say about certain topics or how to handle things because they're thinking, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. But hey, you know what? Maybe you could relate so much to the experience that she's talking about that you can tell her, hey, well, this is how I would handle it. You know, maybe maybe go about it like this and see the reaction that you would get. And you never know. She might be intrigued enough to try it. And then maybe she'll come back another day and say, hey, guys. You're never going to believe what happened. So-and-so told me to do this, so I did it. And this is what the outcome was. You know, that's the goal, is that we're here to help. We're here to try to make sure that everybody has somebody to lean on. Um, and again, because of today's society, that's just how it is. So now, like this quote right here that I'm showing you, um, it says, everything you want is just outside of your comfort zone by Robert Allen. And I know that's a man quote, but it's a really good quote. And that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm going out of my comfort zone for you. I'm doing it to give you guys a platform, give you guys a voice. Please, if you say, or if you think to yourself, man, this is a great topic, I wonder what her, her, her opinion is on this, or hey, I wonder what her daughter thinks about this, or whatever it may be, by all means, contact us and let us know, and we'll dive into it. We'll, we'll go about it, we'll get into it, we don't care, like, I mean, it's because we care, but we don't care what anybody thinks. We don't care what anybody has to say about it. So that's why we're coming to you. Um, 2022 was a really hard year for us. Probably by far the hardest year of our lives together. And so with that said, we wanted to go, I, I especially, wanted to go into... 2023 just hitting the ground running essentially <laughs> originally I had planned on starting this recording yesterday January 1st 2023 didn't happen today's January 2nd 2023 why didn't it happen because my body was telling me girl you need to slow down you're being crazy right now okay you're right, my body was absolutely correct. I was doing too much. And I needed to slow down and I needed to regroup. And so I took the day to do less, far less, and sleep more. I slept most of the day and it felt great. I hadn't done that in a while and it was a necessity. My body was telling me, slow down. So, hence why it didn't start. I didn't, I didn't record yesterday. I just couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to do it. I needed the rest. I, I was in desperate need of that rest. So now, here we are. January 2nd, 2023. It's a Sunday. And why not? Today's the day. No matter what, I started it. I started before the end of the month. I'm, I'm here, I'm recording, I'm doing what I gotta do. So everything you want is outside of your comfort zone and everything that I want is outside of my comfort zone. And so now I'm working towards getting it, getting to that point, taking myself out of my comfort and trying to do better for myself. I've worked my entire adult life to do everything for my kids and, and give them a great life and everything. And I've done a pretty damn good job of that. And now I'm having to focus more so on myself. No, that doesn't mean I'm, I'm done taking care of my kids and helping my kids. Absolutely not. It just means that my kids are capable of taking care of themselves for the, for the most part. Yeah, they still need me. Yeah, there's still things that they need from me, but they don't need me 24 seven. And I need me now. And so I'm learning 
to make myself a priority. And this is the start of it, of me making myself a priority. Because 2022 broke me down in such a way that I had a hard time doing anything that I was normally doing on a regular basis because I was kind of lost um, with a major event that happened, which topic for another day. But I was so lost that I lost myself a little bit. And now we are going into, we're, we're now starting 2023 with me being me and bringing myself back from the rubble, the, the, just the debris left. I'm, I'm putting myself back together and pulling me out. And, uh, so this is where we're at and this is going to be the start of something crazy, but something awesome at the same time. And I hope, I really, truly hope that everything that we bring to this podcast helps some people, helps some women remember their value, remember their, their capabilities and helps, helps you all like get out of your own head and do some things amazing for yourself, not for everybody else, just for you. And that's important and that is okay. And that is acceptable. We are important. So with that said, this is a very short podcast recording, but it's only because I wanted to give you an introduction and I wanted to let you all know what to look forward to. I will be doing this once a week. Um, so pretty much every Sunday, cause I'm off on Sundays and Mondays for my 40 hour week job. Um, so every Sunday I'll be recording and editing and uploading and then um, it'll be uploaded to different platforms. We talked about YouTube. Um, I'll probably do sneak peeks on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, which, oh, and maybe even Snapchat if I can, yeah, I can do it on Snapchat too. Um, just to give everybody a little taste of what is, what is to be found on YouTube. I'll give you guys a little snip. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. And hopefully, like I said, hopefully, even if I just help like one or two people, that's all that matters to me. At all. Um, next week's topic is to be determined. I think Naya and I will sit down and discuss what we want to do with it. If she's going to be joining me on it, which she more than likely will. Um, because we just had a conversation at the table that was a really serious and extremely conver con uh, confrontational, excuse me, confrontational conversation. And while we didn't have any controversy or, yeah, controversy with each other, we didn't have any um, combativeness, combativeness towards each other about the topic because we agree upon the topic. She did with a family member. And so, um, yeah, it's going to be a conversation that her and I have about a very controversial topic that a lot of people are struggling with and it's going to be serious it might get emotional there may be anger don't worry not between us because we agree on this topic <laughs> um but she's going to tell you about her experience with that conversation i'm going to tell you in regards to my experiences with that topic and I think that's a great start. What do you think, Naya? That's a great start to, yeah? Okay, yeah, she agrees. So I think next week we will be talking about a very controversial topic. And um, we want to hear from all of you when we get to it. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Um, if you have any topics that you would like to hear from us, go ahead and email me at, and 
my email is not anything that pertains to this, so take it down slowly. My email is hair, H-A-I-R, by, B-Y, Danny, D-A-N-I-E, and then the numbers 567 at gmail.com. So that is hair by Danny 567 at gmail.com. Email me what you want to hear, and we will work on making different topics happen. And then um, also after a podcast, we'd love to hear from you after each one that we record and put out there too. We'd love to hear what you have to say. We'll talk about it a little bit on the next one to kind of touch on the subject and hear, you know, let everybody else hear your opinions and, and advice and go from there. Cool. So that's all I have. Thank you for listening. If you do, I appreciate it. And we will, we'll, we'll be here next Sunday. All right. Have a wonderful week.